Hello guys and welcome to AI Plus More and in this video I'll be showing you how you can create a training manual using Canva. Now in the modern world we have a lot of things that we can use to learn something and using Canva you are able to create almost anything that you need and training manuals are just one of those and so that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. How can you create a training manual here in Canva? So the first thing that we need to do is of course head over to the Canva website and land and arrive on the landing page. So it will ask you what you want to design today. So since we want to design a training manual, we just need to search up training manual over here. And here we have, if we go here to training manual, we will see all of these already well-prepared templates that we can just use or we can always start from scratch. But since I don't want to waste so much time which is exactly why we need a training manual because we want to get our new employees up to date and able to know what their responsibilities and needed qualities are for the job so that we don't have to keep hiring more trainers or have the training be done by ourselves which is a waste of time which is not really, but it would still be much better if we have a training manual because it hastens the process and we can focus on the more important things. Okay, so let's choose any manual that, manual template that we can choose here. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So if you see here, it says that it's pro. So you see here that a lot of these designs are currently set to pro and can only be used when you have a Canva Pro. And I do have Canva Pro, so it is fortunate for me. But it's also not unfortunate for people who do not have Canva Pro because there are a lot of designs here that are available without the need of having Canva Pro. For example, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. But for this video, I'm going to be using a Canva Pro design. So still the same. You can head over and choose a, a template that is not, you don't need Canva Pro, but you can still make a design for your training manual. So here we are, we have found a template that we can use. And all we need to do now is we can start modifying the pages or like add pages to this design. And then we can change the elements to something that can fit the job well. So what job am I going to use today? So I'm going to try and make a handbook or a manual for the virtual assistant job. Virtual assistants is very famous right now and a lot of people are trying their best to get employed into this kind of job. So. I have a company that hires virtual assistants so I'm just gonna change this to whatever company I want my company's name to be or if I already have a company name so let's replace that with that so let's say I name my company Heya Incorporated Incorporated and then change this to Birch virtual assistant maybe lower the font size to match that of the top and to add more you can just drag this down and copy this and maybe let's call this virtual assistant 101 then change the color to black so that it there's like a there's like a rhythm to it like changing colors it looks balanced. Now let's change the alignment for this. Maybe I'll put it here. So it's up to you. I'm just this is this is just my 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 idea, but doesn't mean you need to copy what I'm doing. Okay. So right now we have these uh, this this these words here. That changes to So I'm gonna name it like that. I mean, I'm gonna change the words to that. Know the words, know the ropes, and get up to date with our system. And now I would like to change the element here to something that would match the virtual assistant job. So it's of course a computer or the internet. Say so this woman here. Just enlarge her.
and then let's add more tech stuff all right this one looks nice but i want something that would match the aesthetic or the design the overall design of what we're trying to do now i think i also want to change the background color something green i like this okay. this one looks nice and then the tech key let's add this wi-fi logo here change the color to match the rest of the document that looks nice and then overall i think this is already this already looks good so we can head over to the next page so for our the next page for our training manual we can work on the table of contents or for this page maybe the purpose of this manual so i'm gonna turn this into white because this is supposed to be the start or the beginning of the page i'm just gonna copy the text that we have here let's change this to purpose then i'm gonna put this in the middle there we go i'll keep pasting what i copied then i'm gonna change this to purpose of the manual then i'm gonna lessen the, the size immensely like that and maybe bring this down a bit because it's a bit too high up there okay and there we go all right so in this part we will start to write about what the purpose of this manual is so you can add a text box now and we can change the te the font of the text so i'm gonna match this with this font the poppins one so for all of the, the text that is not a heading or a title i'm gonna use the poppins for this one and then i'm gonna lessen the font too and then we will set this to justified I'm gonna start writing then i'll arrange it later okay i'm gonna start writing now i'm gonna talk about what the purpose of this manual is okay so i have written this part as the purpose of our manual so right now it's empty but for now i'm just gonna leave it be and then let's head over to another page let's say for this other page i'm just gonna cover it copy the headings that we have here and then i'm gonna change this to table of contents so this is where we uh we show the pages that are found within this manual so let's say This will be my tentative form version of the table of contents because we haven't added, added other pages yet. So as the more that we add page, then we can just keep on updating this. For now, it's fine to just leave it be. I'm just going to copy the title again and put it here for our first page or the first chapter of the book. Say we we'll call this skills. Then I'm going to change this to unit number unit one. So that people know that this is the beginning i'm gonna put it here and then i'm gonna start writing so something that you can do with this although i would still try and encourage you to do it on your own and with your own ingenuity you can use an ai to write the rest of your training manual so here in upwork they have a description or a template on what kind of job is for is it for virtual assistants so since this is the skills page i'm gonna copy these skills that they have here and then we're gonna go over to chat gpt and then i'm gonna ask chat gpt i pasted the the text that i copied from upwork and i'm gonna type in turn this into a into an essay form and try sound make 
making it sound like it's a guide to becoming the skills required in becoming a virtual assistant so just press enter and there we go we are getting the what we got from upwork and then it's now being turned into something <clears throat> so we got this first from upwork and now chat gpt is turning it into something an, into an essay a full-blown essay that we can just copy into our canva design i will be using ai for this one so that we can proceed faster with what we're working on here okay so i'm just gonna copy this So um, that is an example and now I'm just going to stop writing from there. So I'm not going to be showing you how to create an entire trading manual. I'm just showing you an idea, giving you an idea for, or a guide on how you can start working. Start, emphasize on the start working on a training manual using Canva. So that is it. That is how you can create a training manual or you can how you can start creating a training manual using Canva. And if you're done, you head over here to share and head over to download and select PDF standard so that you can just send this training manual to anyone that is in need of it. And then you also have the option to choose which pages you want to save. But of course, it is always recommended that you choose every recommend every page available. And once it's done, you can just head over here and click download and you should be good to go. So I might not be done now, but I'll show you what it looks like when you have a finished product of your training manual that you will save as a PDF file. And this should be the PDF file that people can access once you have finished downloading it. And I think it looks pretty neat. And for a training manual, it looks pretty good. It's something that I would probably read if I just completed it. But that is it. That is how you can create a training manual using Canva. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hello guys, once again, this is Kim and I would like to thank you all for watching this video. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more free tutorials for your everyday needs. And come on, once again, let me tell you, it's free, okay? So if you change your mind, you can always unsubscribe later on, but I would suggest not to do that. Please, 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 please.